Hi, I'm Nicole St. Marie, and this is The Amphibian Show. Yeah. Amphibians, they're beautiful creatures, like this guy right here. Did you know that they live on both land and in the water? Living in the H2O. They use lungs, gills, and skin for respiration. What? They're cold-blooded. Definition. The temperature, the body temperature that is, is that of the environment around them. They're also vertebrae, like us. Their feeding habits, well, the little babies or the larvae, feed our herbivores, and the full-grown adults are mostly carnivores. They have a double loop circulatory system, and they got a three chamber ha hala. What does that mean? Well, they got a right and left atrium and a ventricle. So what is the main difference between, let's say, this guy right here and this guy right here? Well, fact is, their skin and evolutionary advances in vision and hearing is what sets them apart. The skin contains poison glands that release toxins. Dun dun dun! Their eyes have lids like us. They have surrounding glands that are associated with the eyeballs. And they got ducks like this duck, not like the quack quack ducks. They live near swamps and ponds and lakes and toilets and and other dead places, or they'll dry out and die. Anyways, earthworms are the main diet of some of these type of amphibians. There's also a lot of these amphibians eat insects and arthropods, but if you get like large salamanders that are kind of like, wow, they can eat birds and mammals and other vertebrae. Ah! So, what's so important about these guys? What's their use to humans? Well, I got a fact for you. They serve as indicators of their environment, meaning they can show us, the humans, whether or not an environment's safe. How cool is that? For those crazy redneck bumpkins, well, they use them as food. They can serve as pets. I've kept two. Pretty fun. They can be used for scientific research. And, usually in India, they're used as the poison for darts and arrows. Fact! A frog is an amphibian. They lay their eggs in the H2O. The eggs hatch into a tadpole, which live in water until it metamorphosizes into an adult frog. Tadpoles look more like fish than frogs. Why is this? Because frogs evolutionized from the fish. An amphibian can live both on land and water. In fact, instead of drinking water, frogs soak it into their bodies through their skin. Frogs breathe through their nostrils while absorbing half of the air they need through their skin. Wow! Well, this has been the Amphibian Show with Nicole St. Marie. This is Nicole St. Marie, as I said before, signing off.